Alright guys, welcome to this Node Crash Course where we will build this portfolio website completely from the ground up using Node and Express. So if you never touch a backend language like Node, uh, this is like a really good point because I'm just going to guide you through everything like you don't know nothing. So in this portfolio website is still not completely finished in here, but we will do it together. This is just like the front page where you will have details about your employment, about your education, your skills. And then obviously you can customize this just for yourself. I just put some dots in here as well. Like you can minimize these sections if you want to. We will have another section in here to show the projects and another section in here for the contacts. So maybe we can even do some kind of emailing. Uh, we will see in the end. Uh, okay, so let's get started. The first thing that you need to do in order to create this node application is just go to Google. Okay, I'm just going to do it one more time. Node.js download. And basically, you just have to go in here and click the installer that you want. If you are on Windows, download the Windows. If you are on Mac, just download the Mac. Okay. Once you download it and install it, it's time to come to our Visual Studio Code. And I'm going to open a folder that I created before that is completely empty. So I'm going to open, I'm going to create my Node Online Portfolio. And look in here, if you click this one on the side is completely empty. The folder I'm going to go in here on the top and I'm going to click new terminal. And now let me just increase my size a bit more. So you guys really can see. Well, the first thing that I want to do is create a package dot JSON. Okay. So it's going to show all our dependencies, all the things that we need to install. So for that, I'm just going to do npm init dash y. Okay. This should create a package.json for us. Okay. Look, here it is our package.json. So we've got some keywords, license, our scripts. We're going to touch these a little bit more uh, in the next videos. So the first thing that I want to download. Uh, for our project in here is going to be express. So we're going to be using express together with node to make sure that is is easier to create, for example, our server and the roots and everything. So I will go in here to Google again. And look, if you do npm express, you click on the first link, look, express is look, if we go down here, is used a lot together with node and we can see that the weekly downloads, they go up to like 10 million. Okay. So this is a very small, uh, like framework that you can use with, uh, with Node.js. So this is what we will do. And in here it has even the small steps that you need to create your, uh, your small server. So I'm just going to copy all of this code, but obviously, Let's go in here. First of all, what we need to do is install express. So to install express, you just have to do npm install express. Okay. They should take only a few seconds. Okay. And if you see in here on the side now, we should have now a new file called the package.lock.json with all the dependencies in here. If you go back to our previous file package.json that we just created, now I got a dependency in here for express and we got a new folder in here called node modules that we shouldn't touch at all. Just leave it in there. Where is everything that we just uh, installed? We just installed now, for example, express. So all the dependencies, all this stuff is going to be inside of these node modules. Right. So now that we got this started, we need to create a new folder and I'm just going to call it source. You don't really need to, to create it, but it's a, uh, it's a kind of a standard when you create some kind of node uh, applications to have a folder called source SRC. And then inside you actually put your files in. So inside of this folder SRC, I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to call it app.js. Okay. If I go back 
to my browser where it is. Remember that we just installed Express. I'm going to copy this code, okay, and I'm just going to paste it in here. So I got const express equals to require express, okay. So in here we are just grabbing express that we just installed. Then we are creating a, a variable called app which will be using express, okay. That's why you have in here even the parentheses. And then look at this. We got the app.get and then it says in here, if you go to the root of your website that has only the first forward slash, we are going to run a function which has some request and response. By default, all the node applications comes with this kind of request and response. And one of the things that you can do with a response is send something. And the thing that I'm sending right now to this root is going to be just hello world. And for our app to actually start, we can do app that we just created in here on the top and do the dot listen, choosing the port 3000 to run. I'm just going to put a callback function that whenever we run this, it should do a console.log and it's going to say the server is running on port 3000. This port in here is going to be completely up to you what kind of number do you want, but usually for node applications this is very standard. Okay. Now, how can I run my code that I just created? Let me just maybe take this one out for now. How can I run now my server? I open my terminal. If you don't know how to open the terminal, just go in here at the top, terminal, new terminal. And I could just, just to look down here, it should have already the path to our folder where we are at the moment. I need to go inside of, uh, I don't actually don't need, I can just do note and then do SRC to go inside of this folder, SRC. And what's inside of this SRC is my app.js. Okay, I'm going to click on it and it should be running now. If I go to my browser, let me just go in here. I'm going to open, I'm going to put localhost. And if I put in here localhost 3000, I'm just going to do a bit of zoom so you guys can really see. Look what's in there. Hello world. And why is that? Because in here, when we decided the app.get on the, on the home, on the first forward slash, we are just going to send this hello world. In here, you could also put uh, h1, for example. Okay, let's go back. Uh, I need to restart the server, actually. Let me just control C, or if you are on the Mac, command C. And I'm just going to do, I'm pressing up with my arrow on the keyboard so I can do this code again. Okay, the server is running on the port. And then I just refresh. Look, now this is a H1. Okay, one more thing before we finish this video because I don't want it to be too big. Look, if I go and I copy this code and I just go in here to about, okay, I'm going to save this. Every time you do a save in here, you need to stop the server and you need to run it again, okay? Using the node, let me just put a little bit less zoom. You need to use the node source app.js, okay? Let's do it. I'm going to the browser again. Let me do a bit less zoom. I'm going to refresh. At the top, I'm going to put forward slash. Did I put about? Uh, let me see. Ah, I put about, but I want to send something like this. Hello from the about page. Okay. Let's stop the server again. Let's run the server again. I'm going to refresh and look what it says. Now that I'm here on the about, hello from the about page. 
If I remove this about in here on the top and I just put the forward slash, look, hello world. I could even do in here, hello world from home page. Okay. Look, instead of you guys being uh, stopping the server all the time with command C all the time, these kind of things, what you can do is let's stop this. I'm going to do a npm install node mon. Okay, that's the name. npm install node mon. I'm going to install this. Okay, so it should take just about like 10 seconds or so. It's usually is like very, very fast. Okay, so we go to package.json now. Inside of the scripts, I'm just going to put a script in here for start. And after the start, I'm going to put a colon. Don't forget to put a comma before up here. I'm going to put now that node mon okay node mon src app.js so now to run our code we just have to do npm start okay and now this is going to be all the time just listening to changes that we do in here on the on the um, app.js file. Let's say that I just say hello from, look, the server restarted automatically. So you don't need to be stopping the server all the time. I can just go to the browser and look, hello from home page. I do the forward slash about hello from the about page. Okay, so now we know how to create a root on the browser in here to the home page and one for the about. We will do after for the projects, for the contacts. But uh, yeah, this is just the beginning, guys. Like I said, look, we got something very simple just with an H1. But in the next videos, I'm going to show how you can actually connect big files in HTML. That's it for this video, guys. I'll see you in the next one.